Ruskin Bullets in 12 ton roll. What you need to know about steam rollers and steam roller manufacturers is they are. I'll tell you an engine that's uh, whether it's actually not. For example, the Nathan T ton engine actually weighs 13 tons. So whilst this is supposed to be 12, I reckon that's close to 15. Okay. So we've got Kevin Farrington. And you can see that this one is indeed a compound as well. Slide valve engine and uh, worked in South London till the 1950s and then was stored up. Had a few owners, restored, uh, purchased by the present owner in 2017. As it comes round, just so happens to be on your side of the ring, you'll see hanging on the back end of the roller is a weird looking contraption attached to the tender in the back axle. That's called a scarifier. So what would happen there is there would be some tines, some long square spiked pieces of metal would be fitted into that and then as the engine was driven forward, somebody would walk alongside it and drop those tines into the road and rip the road up so it could then be re-leveled and with using the roller. They're hiding on this one. So this is Mr. Hines with his 1922 Fowl. Not to be confused How different with the health and safety was back in the day. Look at those gears in the open. <laughs> Name Percy oh after Stuart's So thank you for watching, like and sharing, yeah, and ringing the bell. Special thank you to all those and, who subscribed. Uh, and if you have not subscribed and are watching the, regularly, uh, so you think you might, axle, go ahead, bracket, you're going to make an old man quite happy. Sit a little bit and into back, the bargain. Uh, on something on some of the other uh, engines, it's under the barrel instead of the smoke box. Yeah, that was done so the engines the could uh, turn and get in tighter stack yards. That's Percy. I think we might have filmed him before. Like, just to make maneuverability a little bit sir. easier. Stuart's here today with his engine. His father will be coming along later with his engine. And uh, their family is very, very heavily involved with Steve and have been for many years. I'll turn the page for this one. Engine I'm not familiar with, this one at all. It's a little Wallace. And Stevens tractor, number 43 in your program, uh, owned and driven by Paul Whips. And you'll notice on this particular engine, all the wobbly bits, the motion as we call them, is all enclosed on this one in an oil bath. That was in an attempt to stop the drivers getting dirty and also keep some muck out of the, the motion. Uh, I don't know if that works. Is it very efficient? Mm, yep, good. Happy days. You'll see again, quite a little small little engine, uh, built for light haulage work, be very quick on the road. Basically designed to replace a horse. Good gracious. Another roller here, little Aveling and Porter, eight ton roller. Okay, this is a type DT, so this is a piston valve compound. You can't quite see the cylinder covers on this one because Abelin's put some lovely shiny bling on the front of their cylinder blocks to cover it all up. Uh, but Avelings were the most prolific of steamroller builders from Rochester. Thomas Aveling is known as the father of the traction engine. Other ones? He okay. took a look one day at a portable engine and said, why are we still using horses to pull this around? Why do Still got all the roller bits, so if you wanted to put it back in for a roller for me, could do relatively easily and quickly.
Beautiful. It's another one of them barrels. This one's called Margaret. Margaret was built in 1922, and it's a five-horse original show. It was built for Henry Thurston, who was a very uh, prominent uh, showman around the Eastern Counties. I'm sure you can read all the information in your program. There's a lot of information in there about it. Uh, owned by uh, Mr. Honor from Stansted, who's also exhibiting the two horse ranks here this weekend. Hill ranks of portable engine. So we've talked about the, uh, the start of the uh, steam with the portable engines. There's one over there you can go and have a look at to see where it all started from. Okay, this particular engine in front of me now is a focal steam wagon. Okay, we've already seen one of those come round from Strumpshaw. This engine spent many, many years as part of the collection at Bresingham, owned uh, by Alan Bloom, who initially carried out the restoration. Uh, it's then purchased from the museum by the Saunders Collection from Bedford, and has regularly rallied around East Anglia and further beyond now gentlemen. Number 21, Rustin Hornsby tractor, steam engine, sorry, traction engine, called Rusty, owned by the Wild family, single cylinder, just had recent boiler work in the last couple of years, and again another engine that is always presented in immaculate condition. Number 19, a barrel roller. Again, another single crank compound. We've seen a few of those today. This one's called Jeanette. Owned by Roger Adams. Another little I steam think we'll leave it there and thank you for watching. Wallace. This is the Henham now Steam Rally in Suffolk Rusty and we've had a lovely day here. And this so one bye is from Dave in Rambler. Thank you for watching.